I thought it was finally time to check out some Kotlin multi-platform. I've seen so many great talks and heard so much about it, but I never really dug in myself. It does seem that there's enough buzz going around, around, around about it now that I should go ahead and check it out though. So I wanted to check it out uh, purely in this case to kind of see if what I wrote in Kotlin, I could run in JavaScript in a web browser. So I'm gonna walk you through what I did to make that happen. Now, is it the right way to do it? I'm not completely sure, but I wanted to show you how I was able to approach it and do something, and hopefully it worked pretty well. You will need Intelli IntelliJ IDEA. You could do this in Android Studio or something too, but I don't think they have the same templates that you would need to get started from scratch. So I'll go over to IntelliJ and I'll do a new project. When I get in here, I'm gonna do a Kotlin library project. So Kotlin, and I'll do a library. And these are the sort of targets that will be in here, common, JVM, JS, and native. So we'll write code um, that will compile to JavaScript, but anything you write in common will actually be able to compile out to each one of these other targets. So let's get this started. I'm gonna just pick the default SDK I have on here. Um, I'm gonna call it hello world Sam, and let's get started. It's good template. It's not a mobile app. This is just a shared library. All right. Hello world, Sam. Okay, we're back. I saved you about three minutes or so, so that's pretty awesome. Let's get started in here. So we've got a project set up now. It opened up this project menu. Inside of here, we have a build Gradle, which is actually Kotlin, Kotlin syntax. And then we also have uh, our source. And in source, it aligns to what we were seeing in that, like, the template generator where we'd have common code, JavaScript code, main, and native. The goal of what I wanted to do was to write code in pure Kotlin that didn't need anything specific to an actual target like native or anything else like that. So that's what our goal is gonna to be today. We're just gonna do a pretty much a simple hello world Sam, and we'll write that in common and have that run in a browser. And that's gonna be a huge success. So let's do that. We come in common main, and now what we wanna do is we wanna create a Kotlin file. We come in here and we're going to call it just hello world sam.kt. So inside of here, I really just need a function. I don't need a class. And I do have a cheat sheet that I'll keep. I'll put in a linked blog post, but I have it here in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this print line uh, and main. Put those in. So print line, print high will say hello world sam, and the main function will call this. So when this when the compiled result is executed, you could think if it was something that normally happened on the JVM, main is called when you run it via the jar file, and then it'll go ahead and execute whatever, whatever is in here. The same thing kind of happens when you're running it in JavaScript. So as soon as the JavaScript loads, it'll run whatever is in the main. Uh, in this case, it will print high uh, as soon as it runs, but we'll also have the opportunity to call this function whenever we want. So that's what I want to show off today and how you can get that working. So if you wanted to go ahead and build this, we now have it in our common main. You can go to the terminal and you would write dot slash gradle w build. So that's your build command. I'm always a command line kind of person. I know that's not typically how people use it, but I prefer that over the standard uh, configurations you'd actually put into the IDE. So it's going ahead and doing a bunch of resolution of, so npm install is node package manager. It's kind of like what Gradle and Maven Central is for JavaScript. So the Node Package Manager is going to pull in all the JavaScript libraries it needs. For what we're doing here, they really don't need all that, but it's fine. All right, cool. It finished. So if I looked inside of here, it would have the code. But what I want to be able to do is actually just run this in a browser right now. And so going back to my cheat sheet here, there's a few things we can do in the build Gradle configuration. So I'm going to go back to the build Gradle or the build Gradle KTS down below here. And then if you look inside of this configuration, it specifies out for JavaScript, use legacy. And I had to figure out what that meant. So if you click in, it's actually the compiler type. So you can pick legacy, which is the old version, the IR compiler or both, so it will generate both. So that's pretty cool. Um, we wanna get it ready for a browser but we don't need to do any tests at this point. So I got rid of that. And then the thing we want is this binary binaries.executable. And I'm actually gonna 
pull in all this stuff just to make it a little bit easier. So you can do the same in yours. So I'm gonna paste over this, mostly the same, but it is gonna be using legacy at this point. It's gonna be using the browser task and Webpack is really just how it's packaging it up at the end. So the actual JavaScript that's being created, um, the result is based on this. So at this point, I'm, I'm using this as the library target. You can use any of these here, um, var, assign, this, window. It's basically just how it will um, compile the JavaScript at the end so that you can access it. Because I'm new to this, I got this to work uh, and it's a little bit easier to, to see, but you can do whatever you'd like and try out more and please let me know when you find out. So we've got all this set up and because I have this binaries.executable, it'll actually create those JavaScript binaries now. So I'm going to go ahead and run with the terminal, my build command again. So I'll hit up on my keyboard and create LW build. Here it goes. All right, done in 24 seconds. Great. So we look and build here. We should see a new folder. So I will reload from disk. There it is, distributions, that's what it is. So now in here, we have this JavaScript file, hello world Sam. And this right here is actually the full JavaScript file of everything that we need to run this code. So what we could do just for simplicity's sake is I'm going to create a resource under JavaScript. So under JavaScript main, I, I could put this either, either place I wanted to, but this is specifically for the JavaScript version. I'm gonna put an HTML file index HTML. It's gonna create a blank one for me. And inside of here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in some script files. Now I am an X HTML developer, so if I'm doing this wrong, I apologize. Um, so we'll do script source equals hello world Sam dot JS. I was about to write KT because I do that so much. Um, script, and let's go ahead and run this now. So what I can do then is if I do another build, this will end up, go up, build. So it's built now. If I go up to this distribution, you'll see that my index.html is now here. So I'm gonna do open in browser Chrome. This will open my page and nothing should happen because I don't actually have anything on the page. If I do write something out, that's fine. What I'm really curious is about what's executing here in the console and ah, hello world Sam, it wrote it out, that's amazing. So because I went ahead and used this library target of this, what it's going to do is when it runs in the JavaScript world or compiles there, it will actually take the global this scope and add on a variable called hello world Sam. So if we go over into here, we could just write hello world Sam and we could print that out. And this basically prints to the console everything that's here. And you can see there's a print high function. So I could say um, hello world Sam dot print high and that's a function. And if I wanna ex ex execute it, go ahead and execute a function and hello world Sam. So really all I need is this. Well, I know that was short, but that pretty much sums up everything that I wanted to show you today. Really, I just have some Kotlin code that I wrote down here in my common main. I added a HTML file and a few uh, things in the Gradle configuration to make sure it uh, goes ahead and creates a binary executable and then showed you how it runs. So I hope that helps. Thanks.